Hello and welcome to PA Academy. So this is the part two of the video under hypocycloid. So in the part one, I showed you how to go ahead to draw a hypocycloid and this is what we are having. And in this part two, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a tangent and a normal to a hypocycloid. So in drawing a tangent and the normal to a hypocycloid, first of all, we are going to add, uh, pick a point where we want to have our tangent on this particular curve. curve. So we can pick any point. So let's say I want to pick this point as a point where I want to have my tangent. So let me make uh, call that point uh, point Y. So I've noted as point Y that this is where I want to have my, my tangent. So now that I've already noted that side, the next thing I'm going to measure the radius of this circle. That is the rolling circle, which is 30 millimeter. So I'm going to bring my compass and my ruler and measure it. So I already have my compass to be on uh, 30 millimeter, which is same as 3 centimeter. So I'll place it on that point and draw uh, and cut this line that is coming from point C on the rolling circle. So, so this is it. So that point, I'm also going to note that point. So that point, I'm going to be uh, call it um, Z. So let's just call this point Z. So let me join this point Y and point Z together. So now the next thing is, from this point Z, we are going to draw a line from this point O. It will pass through point Z and come and touch the top of this arc. So let's say it's touching it on this point, at this point, let's call this point X. The next thing is we are going to join this point X to point Y. So this, so let me write this X like this. So this line XY represents the normal, the normal. So let me just indicate that what we're having right here is the normal. So once you're asked to draw a normal to a hypocycle, this is how you go about it. You already have a normal. So the next thing for us now is to uh, draw the tangent. And the tangent is always perpendicular to a normal. That means always at 90 degrees to a normal. So to do that, um, to draw the 90 degree from those points, so you bring in your compass, just apply the principle of how to draw uh, a perpendicular line from a given point on a straight line. So, okay, sorry. So the, at any convenience, length on your compass, you draw a semicircle. So here the semicircle is touching the, uh, the normal. From that point, you draw an arc on the semicircle. Where the arc is touching the semicircle, you with the same length, you place your compass. You draw another arc. So from these two arcs, we are going to draw another arc that will intercept. So you're going to be having something like this. So from your point of intersection, you are going to join it to Y. So this is the point of intersection. You are going to draw it cross Y, to pass through Y. So this line that I've just drawn represents the tangent. The tangent. So you can see this is how you go about to draw a tangent to hypocycloid. So if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And also in the description of this video, in case you missed the part one, I'm going to be leaving a link uh, to this to the part one of this particular video that will show you how to draw uh, hypocycloid. Also, I'm going to leave link to other videos like how to draw hypocycloid, a cycloid, uh, epicycloid, parabola, hyperbola, helix, um, involute of a square circle. So I'm going to be leaving a link to those videos in the description of this video. Like I said earlier, uh, if you find the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you are here to subscribe to PE Academy, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. It's absolutely free. Uh, it will cost anything to subscribe. So just click on that subscribe button to subscribe. If you have any questions, any comments for me, do leave them in the comment section below. Also check out our website, paacademy.co. paacademy.co. And with that, guys, I'll see you all in another video. So the part one of this video will be coming up somewhere here. You can, if you click on it, it will take you to the part one. We have to show you how to draw hypocycloid.